Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. So if this is your type of content, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. So as you know, the price of everything has went up, makeup included, of course. Um, the average price is about $2.25 for anything from LA Color. That's what I ran across. Um, in total, I did spend $44.62 for a full face, which isn't bad, but I know back in the day, some of the stuff used to be a dollar, um, but again, it's not anymore. But we'll go ahead and get started. I do have a bunch of goodies. So the first thing that I'm gonna be using today is the LA Colors Concealer. I do have the shade Deep. So this is that right there. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna use that to prime my eyelids. Okay, I about forgot about these. Um, so it does have like a little brush right here. So I'm just gonna apply this on my eyelid here and we're just gonna prime the eyelid here. And I will be using this for concealer later on in the video. The color looks nice, looks perfect actually. All right, so I am gonna set that concealer down with just some translucent powder, because it is kind of liquidy. All right, and then I did pick up a couple of eyeshadow palettes, of course. Um, so this one is LA Colors Lemon Drop, the eye palette. And I really like this. It's that here. Okay, so these are the shades there. So I'll be using these today. And then I also picked up another palette as well. And it has some glitter on there. All right, so there's that. And then these are the colors here. Um, so I really picked this up just due to the gold and the yellow in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my um, eyelids with just like this tan color here. And then there's another brown color. So I'm just gonna set my lid here in the crease with the transition colors. And these colors are pretty pigmented, I must say that. I'm gonna build it up some here. And then of course, I'm gonna put on some yellow. And I actually may not even have to dip into the glitters on this one because I do see a couple shimmers in here. So we'll just see, we'll see what the look brings or where this eyeshadow palette takes me. And then I think with the smaller brush, I'm going to go into this dark brown here and just go over my crease with that. Okay, so I'm really liking this palette. This palette is very pigmented. I can say that I like that. I always like LA Colors too. LA Color, can't talk. LA Colors and LA Girl. I like both of those eyeshadows. I hope everybody is doing well and staying hydrated. It actually rained a little bit here today, so that is a plus, and it wasn't as hot afterwards. So that is good. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go in with these two yellow colors here and see what happens, why not? Just mix them both and see. I'm thinking about just applying some shimmer here in just a moment, applying some shimmer on top and then doing some wing liner with some lashes. See what that does. See if it brings the look together. But again, I really like these uh, shadows. Very, very pretty, very pigmented as well. I am going to use this gold color here. I'm trying to see which one's brighter. Okay. So definitely gonna spray the brush. See, that's the color right there. I'm definitely gonna spray my brush and apply it. 
brush here, I'm gonna dip into, I'm actually just gonna dip into both of these yellow colors here. Just gonna dip, mix them both, and then spray my brush and apply it and see what happens. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, so after spraying your brush a couple times, it does layer pretty well. Um, so I've only sprayed my brush twice and then went in a few times with the shadow and it's really picking up. I really like this color. It's very, very pretty. I don't think I'm gonna need the glitter after all. I mean, I may go in just to be extra with it. I mean, we could always do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is showing up pretty well, so. All right, so I like that. You guys see that? That looks really pretty. I like that. Nice and gold and yellow. Now I am going to go in with some winged liner. So I do have the LA Colors eye marker, uh, precision eye marker, and of course this is in black. So that is that there. Okay, this one is not as easy to work with like my other wing liners. I see that right now. I mean, it has a nice tip and everything, but I find it a little bit more difficult working with this one than my other ones, but that's okay. That wing is a little drawn out. I may trim that down a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the next eye and get this one taken care of. All right. So there's that. I'm not a fan of this. I can say it's very pigmented. Yes, the eyeliner is, but the tip, something about the tip is kind of hard for me to work with, but it's okay, it's okay. So, so now we're gonna go in with the LA Colors Lash Perfection Lengthening Formula. So this is supposed to be, you know, a mascara that lengthens and defines your lashes. So that's what that looks like right here. And of course it's in black. This is the tube here. And that is the wand. So we'll see how this does. Let me just wipe off the excess on here. Okay, so first things first, I don't show a lot of, you know, coverage on my lashes. Yeah, it's a thin coat. Um, but yeah, I'm not showing anything. Usually with these types of things, um, you know, it'll show on my lashes immediately, but I'm not seeing a lot of coverage on my lashes. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the next eye. And then as far as eyelashes, I did get the Kiss Uncovered Collection and these are dewy. So, that's that right there. Okay, so that's what the lashes are going to look like before I apply them. I like to kind of like try them on to see what they're going to look like. So I'm just going to put some glue on these and see what happens. All right, so there's the first eye. That is really, really pretty. All right, so lashes are on. So now we are gonna go ahead and move into the skin. So we're gonna go ahead and do foundation, concealer, and all that there. But well, I did get the LA Colors. Of course, it's LA Colors. I did go ahead and get the setting spray. This is the matte setting spray. So that's that. And they did have that baby skin primer, but that doesn't work well with my skin. So I was like, I'll just use the matte setting spray you know, for anything else. I'm not gonna go in with the baby skin primer. It just makes my skin more oily and I don't really notice a difference with that primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face. All right, so my face does feel a little bit sticky with that, but that's okay. 
And then I get two shades of the LA Colors foundation. I do have cocoa and deep beige. These are the colors here. So I'm just gonna swatch these on my skin, on my face, and see which one works better for me. So, okay, so the first one is cocoa. That's the color there. So I'm just gonna swatch it on my face. Okay, so on camera, it looks like it's gonna blend in just perfect. And these do have like a little pump. So I'm just squeezing it out. Okay, so this is deep beige. Put it on right beside it. And actually, that one looks pretty good as well. It looks like I could probably just like mix both of them. The cocoa looks a little bit darker. And then the deep beige looks a little bit lighter, like maybe my winter shade. But it looks like I could probably just mix them both. So I'm just going to take a brush and just mix them both and see what happens here. I mean, you know, while we're at it. Okay, so definitely not very much coverage at all. Not that I can tell. So this is gonna be more of one of those natural finish foundations, um, but we'll see if we can build that up some. Okay, so I'm just gonna work with that and see what we can do here. I know it looks like a lot, but I promise you, there's hardly any coverage on this foundation. My face feels so sticky. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to set this down. All right, now I am going to go in with the concealer. So again, this is the LA Colors Deep Concealer in the shade Deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. Hopefully this has some coverage on it. Oh man, it's too much. That's one thing I don't like about these squeezy tube concealers because it can squeeze out a lot of product. I'm not trying to have all that. All right, so I'm just going to blend this out the best that I can. And I pray it works with me and not against me. Here's that one. That's just too much. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit down for a few moments and see if we can get some coverage out of that, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and set this concealer down and see if it's gonna do anything. So we'll go ahead and do that now. This concealer, I mean, it's okay, but it looks like it's, you know, pretty light coverage. I'm probably gonna have to blend this down a little bit with a brush or something because it's really liquidy. So I'm just gonna take a little concealer brush and see if I can just set this down just a little bit here. Cause I put a little bit too much under my under eyes. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to take my setting powder brush and I'm going to set my under eyes and set my face. My face looks like a grease ball. Do you see that? Do you guys see this? Mm-mm. So I do have the LA Color Setting Powder. It's the loose powder, and this is in tan. So that's the color there. So we are going to see what this bad boy does. I hope this works with me too. All right, so this does look nice and tan. Again, that's the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my under eyes. 
try and set some of this bad boy down. What a different setting powder does. All right, so now that the under eyes are set, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the setting powder as well. Much better. Still a little bit shiny, but nothing I can't work with. The color of bronzer that I got, it says it's radiant. So um, on the outside of the bronzer, it's dark brown. And then in the center, it's like gold. So that's that right there. All right, so this is the bronzer, guys. Isn't that pretty? That's the bronzer there. So I am going to take my famous bronzing brush and see what this looks like. So here we go. Oh, this shimmer that's flying out. I'm nervous now. O-M-G. Do you see that? Look at this. Look at that. Wow. This is pigmented. Oh my goodness. Wow. But it's beautiful. I like the color. That's pretty. This would be like one of them no makeup makeup looks, you know, for like your summer makeup and you just, you know, you're just glowing. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. I'm not putting too much on over there, like on my forehead. I don't want to be shining like that, but that is beautiful. They wasn't playing. They wasn't playing when they said it is a radiant bronzer. This is beautiful. This, this right here. Yeah, this is my thing right there. I like that. And here I was going to put on highlighter. May as well, hey, go for it. That's what the video is about. I got to show you what I purchased. So that's bronzer. I haven't even put on a, you know, blush. I haven't even put on no blush. So let's see what we got here. I got this uh, LA Colors Deluxe Blush and Brush, and the color is Mink. So that is the color there. And let me get that. Looks like I got foundation under my finger now. That's always nice, cute. I'm not using the little blush brush. I may use that for something else. Oh, this looks like it has some sparkles in it too. I'm just gonna be one sparkly person today. All right, so here's my blush brush, as we all know. So I'm just gonna take it and dip it in here. Just apply it on my cheeks. Of course, you can't really see it because of the bronzer. So I'm going a little bit higher up to see if you can see it, but you can see it a little bit, but not too much, again, because of the bronzer. So there's that. Now, I'm not going in with no more highlighter because that bronzer has really done its thing. Or do I? Do you want to just go ahead and build it up for the video? <sighs> Should I? Let's do it. So they have Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. We're going to go ahead and do it. I mean, this is first impression review, all that in one. We're going to go ahead and do it. So I'm just gonna be all sparkled out. Now you can't really see this again because of the, you know, bronzer and all that. So that's that. Here we go. That's that. I'm not putting no more shine on my face, but this is cute. I like it. I'm just gonna do the lower lash line real quick with this mascara here. So it seems like it's showing more on my lower lashes than my top lashes. I have a couple lip liners here. This one is the LA Colors. Of course, it's LA Colors. So it's LA Colors and this one is in the color Natural. So I have this and then I'm going to use Wet n Wild. And this one is called Past curfew that is too cute so i'm gonna use that but yeah that's that here now we're gonna do lips and do brows set the face and we are done with this long drug out video oh my goodness and this is not as dark as it looks you see this you see this right here you see it looks dark right but look at 
that does not look dark at all. Okay, we're gonna go with it now. We're gonna go, and it may match my. Okay, we're gonna just gonna go with it. That's what we're gonna do. It's more. Oh no, guys. It's more like a pink. It's more like a pink color. All right, we're gonna rock it. So here's that. Let's try the lip gloss and see how that does. Maybe it'll bring it together. I mean, the color actually matches my lips. So to speak, my lips are about that color, but into the pink. All right, so again, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Past Curfew lip gloss. Oh, this looks sticky. We'll see. There's that. Let's see what it does. If it brings it together or makes it look worse. Okay, I don't think it looks too bad. I don't know if it necessarily goes with my look, but I think it looks okay. Well, that's what it is for today though. So there is that. Let me do these eyebrows and we are all done. All right, so again, I am taking the color medium brown. Now this is gonna work, but we're gonna see. Well, I'm shocked. This color actually blends in perfectly with my eyebrows. Okay. There's my little spoolie here. Comb these bad boys out a little bit. Flick, flick. Now we are going to take into this lemon drop palette. I am just going to top it off with that white shade right here. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner here of my eye. Okay, so we're gonna spray the brush. Dip into this white shade, tap off the excess. And then I'm just gonna run shimmer shade down on the lower lash line. And that's pretty much it, guys. We are almost done. I need a little bitty brush. But yeah, I'm just gonna take this little uh, yellow color here. All right, guys, so I'm just going to set the face one more time and then that's it. We are finished. All right, guys, so this completes the look. I really like these LA Girl or LA Color finds. I really like these Dollar Tree finds. Um, the eyeshadow, it's very pigmented. It's very beautiful. I really like this. Um, the bronzer, beautiful. The bronzer, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. Like I said, this could be your summer, this could be your summer go-to. You don't have to put on all that other stuff. You just put on a little bit of concealer, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Put some of this bad boy on and you're good to go. I mean, because it's definitely shiny. It, it, it enhances things. It makes you look beautiful. You're glowing. That's what you want in the summer, right? So that's that. The lip gloss, it's kind of sticky, but I like it. I like it because it's pink, of course it's pink, but I do like it. Um, I do recommend the Wet n Wild. The lip liner, I was kind of nervous, but actually using those two together, it's a perfect blend. So that was perfect on my lips. As far as the concealer goes, I was kind of worried about that, but we were able to set that bad boy down. The only thing that I don't like is really the squeezy tube because you can squeeze out a lot of product you know, not trying to, just a lot of product comes out. The eyebrow pencil, I'm shocked. Um, that took me by surprise that it, you know, blended right on in with my eyebrows, but I like it, it's it's cute, I like that. Uh, the blush, I'm sure the blush will be showing, but due to the bronzer and that highlight in the bronzer, 
you can't really see it, but I'll be using it again. That way you guys can see it on my face. The mascara, um, the mascara, it showed more on my bottom lashes than my top lashes, which is fine. It balanced itself out. So yeah, I do like that just for the bottom lashes though. The eyeliner, I like the eyeliner, but again, the tip of it, something about the tip, I just couldn't get it to work the way I wanted to. But I mean, the look is fine, but the tip is just it's a little bit harder to work with, but I do like it. The setting spray, you guys already know about the setting spray. My face was like an oil grease ball, but we'll see. Because it says it's a matte finish, a matte finish setting spray. I'm not for sure about that. And I'm starting to look glowy again as it is. The setting powder, I do like the setting powder. Now this LA Girl setting powder, this is beautiful. I will be using this again. I'll be testing it out to see how it does on my skin. The foundations, the foundations are good. Very liquidy though. Um, I do notice that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the payoff is with these foundations. Um, but yeah, I like them. The colors, they blended right in together. I could mix both of them and it came out with my perfect shade. But it's more of a natural cover and it's more of a natural coverage foundation. So you can't really build it up that much. So it's more of a natural finish. Lashes. My lashes. I love these lashes. These lashes are beautiful. Kiss lashes. These were in the uh, style dewy. So I really like these lashes. These are cute. So, but yeah, I think that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this long drug out Dollar Tree video. I will have more videos loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.